With the Pocono 500 at Pocono International Raceway had become a fixture for IndyCar racing since first being run in 1971, the event had become one of the most prestigious in the sport. In 1979, championship auto racing teams, CART, had its first season as a competitor to the established USAC National Championship. Most top teams and drivers, along with several racetracks, joined CART. As a result, A.J. Foyt won his seventh championship with relatively little competition, as he won five of seven races that year. The two groups would partner together in 1980 for a series called the Championship Racing League, CRL. However, USAC withdrew from the agreement midway through the season in June, due to Indianapolis Motor Speedway saying CRL could not sanction the Indianapolis 500 in 1981. Due to the large amount of owners, the people participating in the race, on its board, once again, there was a split in IndyCar racing. One of the parties affected by the conflict between USEC and CART was Pocono International Raceway. CART had ordered a boycott of its teams and drivers from the 1979 Pocono 500. Only Danny Ungaius and Interscope Racing went against CART, causing Ungaius to be fined $5,000. AJ Foyt would win the race by two laps after qualifying on the pole position and leading for 128 of 200 laps. Ungaius was his only competition. Due to a lack of big names, fewer than 50,000 people attended the race and the track nearly went into foreclosure. Indianapolis Motor Speedway would lease the track for 1980 and promote its races, saving the facility. Meanwhile, Pocono owner Joseph Medfioli would sue Cart. The 1980 Pocono 500 went off fairly well due to it being a CRL race that included participation from the top drivers of both series. Bobby Unser ultimately won it after leading for 116 laps and starting first. 1981 would be a different story for Pocono, however. The Van Scoy Diamond Mines 500 would be part of the newly reorganized USAC Gold Crown series. The season consisted of the 1981 and 1982 Indianapolis 500s, Pocono, and three Silver Crown Series dirt track races. After CART allowed their teams and drivers to compete at Indianapolis, they would not do so for Pocono, although multiple drivers and teams crossed the picket line in this case. One week before the race, there were just 19 cars entered. Several of the entries were older Indy cars from lower budget teams. As a result, USAC opened up the race to Silver Crown cars, making it the first IndyCar race on the paved track since 1970 to include dirt cars. The most notable entries were AJ Foyt, who continued to be loyal to USAC, with Gilmore Foyt Racing, and Tom Sneva with Bignani Cotter Racing, a kart combination. Each of them would be driving the new March 81C Cosworth DFX. Due to a qualifying rainout, the starting lineup was determined by a blind draw in three categories, Drivers in Indy cars who had won a 500 mile race, other drivers in Indy cars, and drivers in dirt cars. Foyt would be on the pole position with Sneva in third place. 1970 California 500 winner Jim McElroy split the two, driving an older Eagle 74 Offenhauser. In all, 29 cars started the race, eight of which were dirt cars. In the race, as expected, Foyt and Sneva would battle for the lead and become the main contenders, although Jeff Brabham, Tom Bigelow, and George Snyder, each of whom were in fairly modern cars themselves, were able to keep pace. By lap 25, five cars had retired from the race. The Silver Crown cars struggled to match the pace of their IndyCar counterparts and they largely ran along the inside line of the track. Sneva would prove to have a slight edge over Foyt in the early going, as he would lead for 56 laps. Unfortunately, however, he dropped out of the race after 79 laps due to gearbox issues. This did not hand the win to Foyt, though, as he was still having to hold off Bigelow and Brabham. At the halfway point of the race on lap 100, 17 of the 29 starters were still running. On lap 119, immediately after the restart due to a caution, Foyt got by Brabham for the lead. Two laps later, the race went under caution due to rain and it was officially ended one lap later on lap 122. Foyt would win the race with 35 laps led with Brabham finishing in 2nd, Bigelow in 3rd, Snyder in 4th place one lap down, and Harry McDonald in 5th, two laps down. In 11th place, Mark Alderson was the highest finishing dirt car as he completed 104 laps. Sneva's 79 laps were enough to get him 16th place. This would be Foyt's 67th and final IndyCar win of his career. It would also be the Foyt team's final win until 1996. 
Following the race, seven drivers who were current members received a 60-day suspension from the series. There were Sneva, Brabham, Bigelow, McElreef, Tick Simon, Roger Rager, and Dean Vetrock. The drivers would sue Kart and have their suspensions lifted on free market labor and right to work laws. However, this decision did not come until after these drivers missed a pair of races at Atlanta International Raceway, the Craco Twin 125s. Once again, following a boycott from Kart, the attendance at the Pocono 500 was down considerably. As a result, Mattioli sued Kart for $9 million, with his 1979 lawsuit still ongoing claiming violation of federal antitrust laws. It would be settled for a confidential amount. In 1982, the Pocono 500 became a kart race as the USAC Gold Crown became just the Indianapolis 500 with select Silver Crown races. By 1985, the championship consisted only of the Indianapolis. The relationship between kart and Pocono would be a rocky one. The truck hosted its final kart race in 1989. Eventually, the IndyCar series returned to the track in 2013 as a 400-mile race won by Scott Dixon before becoming a 500-mile race in 2014. <laughs>